right. So we will start with problem one. And problem one says, when you divide 94 by 3, there is a remainder of 1. Model this problem with place value disks in the place value disk model. How did you show the remainder? All right, so someone tell me, what do we need to do? Maya, what should we do? Make a place value chart. Yeah, we're going to need a place value chart. So let's draw that in. What labels will I need at the top for this one? Ones and tens. Ones and tens, yep. What do I need to put inside my place value chart now? Kaylee? Nine and the tens and four and the ones. She says nine and the tens and four and the ones. Do you agree? Yeah. Me too. All right. All right, and we are dividing by what? Three. Three. So one, two, three. All right, and now we can start to distribute those evenly through um, to each of our friends here. Do we have any tens to carry over? No. Nope, it's a nice and easy one for us. What was your remainder? One. One. What did they say the remainder was going to be? One. One. So let's go back to their question, because we kind of solved it already. It says, in the place value disk model, how do you show the remainder? How do we show our remainder when we do it in the, when we um, show our problem like this? Devin, what do you think? Circle. Yeah, we circle it, right? So let's write that. Let's say I showed my remainder by circling. By circling the remaining what? Um, disc or dot. Yeah, disc or dot. By circling the remaining dot. Let's be super specific. By circling the remaining dot in what and where? What was it? In the ones. In the ones, in the ones um, place. Do you guys think that does a good job of answering our question? Yeah, yeah because they're, they're not asking us to really go deeper than that. They just want to know how we did it, how we showed it. So that's how we showed it. All right, number two. Cayman says that 94 divided by 3 um, with the remainder of 4. Hmm, that's not worded very well. He reasons that this is correct because 3 times 30 plus 4 equals 94. What mistake has Cayman made? Explain how he can correct his work. That's kind of tricky. We've never looked at a problem like this before. Because is this right, right here? No. Is three, what's 3 times 30? 90. And what's 4 more? 94. 94. But we know that this isn't right. Yeah. Because we know what, what is our remainder for this problem? One. One. So what did he do wrong? Uh, oh. <gasps> Ooh, I see lots of light bulbs going um, off. Brendan, what do you think he, what do you think he did? I think he messed up his remainders because you're really, you're only gonna get, you have to have a multiplication problem if you're gonna check your work. It has to be a 93 because you can't take, because the answer was 93, you can't take 3 off and make a remainder of 4. You can't take the disk oh, yeah. chart off. 
Okay. Okay. I, I'm getting where you're going. Devin, can you keep can you keep going with this one? You can, um, are you still talking about the problem above? Yep, they're the same. It's the same problem. They're both 94 divided by 3. Oh, Devin says that if he has a remainder of four, he can still make one more group. Yeah, then he has a remainder. Because what are we dividing by? Three. We're dividing by three. Ooh. So he can put three of those four ones where? In the ones, In the ones place. Yeah, and then what would his re real remainder be? One. One. Would that match what we just did? Yeah. Yeah, it would. All right. Um, we have a... We have a situation here though because now it says what mistake has he made and how can he correct his work so now we have to explain that uh, so that was a lot of words we just used so how can we explain that and write it in this small little space that they left us here let's let's start with what his mistake was who can um tell us what his mistake was jacob what was his mistake because he um forgot because he can't have a remainder four and he probably forgot that there was only so let's say Cayman, that's his name. Cayman forgot to, he forgot to what? Forgot to add one more three because he had another He forgot to, should we use the word distribute? Mm -hmm. Okay, he forgot to distribute. The what place value are we in? The ones. ones. He forgot to distribute the ones one more time, right? All right, so he forgot to distribute them one more time. Do you guys all agree? Yes. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. All right, perfect. All right, but we're not done. It says, explain how he can correct his work. So if you were sitting next to Cayman, what would you say to him? How can he fix his work? Zachary, what can he do to fix his work? So he can distribute one more time. Let's be specific. He can distribute... The ones one more time. And he will get a remainder of what? One. Yep. He will get a remainder of one. Whoa, that was kind of hard to explain, wasn't that? You guys did a good job working through it, so good job. Yes, Brendan. Why is there not responsibility in this room? It's just today. Um, Mrs. Van Dyken is out sick today. Okay, let's keep moving here. We have um, one more problem on this page than a few on the next page. Number three, the place value disk model is shown. 72 divided by three. Complete the model. Explain what happens to the 110 that is remaining in the tens column. So they did it for us pretty much, right? They distributed their tens. Do you agree with how they did that? Yeah. And how many tens were left? What? One. So what should they do with that 10 that's left? They should move it over to the Yep, so let's do that for them. So they need to move it over. So now they have 10 more ones there. What's their next step? Brendan, what should they do next? Start dealing them out. Yep, start dealing them out. What is the quotient for this problem? 24. 
T4. Do you guys agree? Yeah. All right. Do they want to know what the answer is, though? Yeah. No. No. What do they want to know? Oh, and I love, um, I'm going to have Abby share so I don't hear a bunch of people shouting at once. Abby, go ahead. Explain what, um, what happens to the 10. Okay, so explain what we did with this 10. What did we do with this 10? Who can help us out? Jocelyn? Perfect. So let's say the 110 remaining um, gets brought to the ones column. And is made whoops, into what? Is it, a, is it still a 10 minute goes over there? Oh, uh, no, it's made into 10 ones. 10 ones. That's made into 10 ones. Do you guys already know this stuff that's on this page? Yeah. Yeah, you totally already know that. It's just a matter of explaining ourselves. Remember I told you our learning target was explaining our remainders? Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're explaining what we're doing. All right, go ahead and flip this over. All right, we have a few more to do on this page. Number four, two friends evenly share $56. They have five $10 bills and six $1 bills. Draw a picture to show how the bills will be shared. Will they have to make change at any stage? Hmm, how can we show that? It says to use a pitcher. Garrett, what do you think? Well, I would put, um, well, they could go to the bank. Oh, I want to talk about, let's talk about the pitcher I, I, first. I know, I was going to, I wanted to share the picture next. I want the pitcher, we're going to do the pitcher first, okay? Nope, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have someone else help me out here. I need a picture. I need a picture first. I I understand where you're going, but we need to show what we need to show what we're starting with in our picture. Um, Josie, what do you think, honey? Let's just do a table of tens and ones. Perfect. Let's just do a place value chart, right? That's what we're used to. So we'll have a column for tens and a column for ones. And then we're just going to put their information into the chart. So how many $10 bills did they say that they had? Uh, five. Five. So let's draw those in the tens. And then how many ones? Six. Six. All right. And now how many people are sharing it? Two. Two. So... There they are. They can share it right there. And so, Garrett, I think this is where you were going with it, right? That they're going to have to start distributing it, and then we'll have to see if they need to go to the bank or not. All right, so let's start distributing it, and then we'll see if Garrett was right on. I think he might have been. All right, Garrett, what do you think? What do they need to do? do can we just give one of them the $10 bill? That wouldn't be fair, would it? So what can I do with that? Put it in the ones and group it in the twos and fives. Okay. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Like that? Two groups of five? Yeah. Okay. Um, put one group of five. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Better cross them off so I remember I distribute them. And, 
Yep, so I'm just going to keep distributing these ones out. And Garrett knew that they would end up getting three more. Good job. So how much money does each friend end up with? $28. Yep. So am I done? Is that it? No. No, because they wanted us to do something else. What else did they want us to do? Um, What's our question? Will they have to make a trade in Garrett's state? Will they have to? Yes. Yes, they will. When will they need to make change? You're right, they, they need to. At what point do they have to make change? Everyone drew it out, so I hope, ev I hope everyone has that drawn like mine. Keep thinking, what do you guys think? Devin, what do you think? Yeah, that's making a change, right? They had a $10 bill, and they had to make it into ones. So that would be making change. Thanks, Carly. Um, so what can we say? Who can put that into words that we can, that we can write on our paper? Yes, they had to make change. We know that. At what point did they have to make change? Zachary? So they may change when they had to split the last $10 bill, right? Oh, and then there's a second part to the same question. B, explain how they shared the money evenly. Um. Well, let's look at their in Let's look at what they each get. Okay. They each get what? $28. Well, let's talk about them specifically. They each get... <coughs> let's talk about the tens first. <coughs> They each get what? Do they each get 18 $10 bills? No. They, each get two. they each get two $10 bills. <coughs> they each get two $10 bills. That sounds even so far, right? And what else do they get? Four $1. Yeah, and eight one dollar bills. All right. We got that? No. All right, finish it up. Which one, Garrett? Number five because you can't eat a three-year-old which old. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's read number five. That, that's funny, Garrett. <laughs> Imagine you are filming a video explaining the problem 45 divided by 3 to two new fourth graders. Create a script to explain how you can keep dividing after getting a remainder of, of 110 in the first step. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We are recording it right now. You guys got it. But it's only It is. We're going to run out of time here in a second. So I'll pause it and we'll make a new video.